you are. I was looking for you. I was waiting for you to join me at our welcome assembly to James Gillespie's primary school. Hello, I was just reading my book here. It's a great book. Have you seen this book before? Are you reading this one in nursery? It's called The Bookworm. And I've been enjoying that book because we've been doing it in nursery and also you'll be doing it again when you come into primary one. And that way, all of your friends who are coming into primary one will learn and know about the same book. And I've got my friend Max here, who's in the story, and he's going to be helping us along the way with lots and lots of different activities. And you'll get to see and meet Max when you come to James Gillespie's. So welcome everybody. It's so lovely to meet you all. I'm so excited for you to come and start in primary one at James Gillespie's and I've got so much that I need to tell you. Are you ready? So I bet you're wondering who I am. Well my name is Mrs Goddard and I'm the deputy head teacher for nursery and primary one here at James Gillespie's and I'm really looking forward to getting to know all of you and working together with you and your teachers next year in primary one. But there's another really important person that I really would like you to meet and that is our head teacher Mr Horsborough and he's got a very special message for us. Now this is very special for you because Mr Horsborough hasn't started at Gillespie's quite yet he is coming just before the summer holidays. And so when you start after the summer, Mr. Horsburgh will be new to James Gillespie's and so will you. So you will be all starting all together at a very special time. So he has given us a lovely message to welcome you all to the school before he gets there. Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Horsburgh and I'm the head teacher at James Gillespie's Primary School. I'm really looking forward to meeting you when you start primary one in August. When you start primary one, there'll be so many new friends that you'll be able to meet and so many things to learn and explore together. James Gillespie's Primary School is an amazing place where everyone belongs. Hello everyone, my name is Mr Horsburgh and I'm the head teacher at James Gillespie's Primary School. I'm really looking forward to meeting you when you start Primary 1 in August. When you start Primary 1, there'll be so many new friends that you'll be able to meet and so many things to learn and explore together. James Gillespie's Primary School is an amazing place where everyone belongs. So many questions you must have about starting primary one and moving on from nursery. So the first question we need to try and learn and know before coming in after the holidays is what is the name of our school? Well, we've said it a few times already and maybe you're talking about it in nursery and talking about it with your families at home. But yes, our school is called James Gillespie's Primary School. And what primary are you going to be in? Well, you're going to be starting in primary one and you sometimes hear people calling it P1, which is the short way of saying primary one. And in our school, we go all the way up to primary seven. So we have a P1, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's as far as our numbers go in primary school. So you will be the very first number primary one. And how many classes are there going to be? Well, next year, there are going to be two classes in primary one. Primary one A, that's an A, so that's A's name, A, and primary one B, that's B's name, isn't it? B. So you will either be in primary one A or primary one B, and I will be letting you know that very, very soon. So in our school, we have lots of important symbols 
that help us when we're at school. And our first one is our unicorn. So our unicorn is the James Gillespie symbol. And you see that on some of the school sweatshirts that the children wear in school. And that you see the unicorn around school when you're here, you'll see it up in places around the school. And when people think of James Gillespie's, um, the unicorn is the picture that comes. And some children think like to call it the unicorn school because there's a unicorn badge which makes it sound very exciting like we've got unicorns in all of the playground fortunately we don't but we do love unicorns and we always talk about the children in school as our we unicorns so unicorns are very important to james gillespie's primary school then we've got our four characters here they are our school values and our school values help us to learn to work and play together happily in school. And if we follow the advice from our values, then we should have a lovely place of learning and playing for everybody. So we've got Kit, who's the red value with the love heart. And Kit asks us to show kindness and respect to each other, to all the adults in school and all of the children in school. And that helps us all to um, have a lovely happy time when we're here at James Gillespie's. The blue value has a question mark on his body there and he, the blue value is called Ken Moore and Ken Moore is our curiosity value. Asking lots of questions, wondering, being creative, exploring our learning, finding out more helps us to be really really good learners here at James Gillespie's. And then there's candy, the yellow value. So candy is our can-do value. Helps us to remember not to give up, to keep trying and to ask for help if we need it. And then there's link. Link is our connected value. So link reminds us about our school and our community, not just inside our classroom, but our school as a whole school, but also our school in the community where the school is and how we take care of our of our environment and we make sure that we look after our school and we are kind to each other, we welcome new people to the school and we are all feel connected as one big family at James Gillespie's. So I bet you're really keen to see what a primary one classroom might look like. So I've got a couple of little clips from inside our current primary one classrooms, which will give you a little bit of an insight into what your classroom might look like. So I'll talk you round as we go round it. And what you will notice is that a lot of the classroom looks a little bit like some of the parts of your nursery. So our classrooms are designed with little play areas, cozy nooks, and busy places inside the classroom where you can learn and play. And you'll see there's lovely story area. We've got a dark tent there for going in with torches and exploring. And we also have a little teacher table where you might come to do some group work with your teacher. And we've got a crafting table where you might do some junk modeling and making things. And then we've got lots of loose parts if you like building with bricks and construction. There's a sand pit and water tray there in the corner. All familiar things that I'm sure you will recognise from nursery. And this classroom's got the dark tent up as well, like a favourite in primary one. And we've got look, look, little spaces where you can sit at desks to do things, or you can build on the floor with lots of different construction resources. And you will see again in this one, a little table where you can go and do some work with the teacher, or do some learning with the teacher. And I'm sure you're going to have a fantastic time when you're in your classroom with so, so much to do, so many choices of different places where you can play and learn. We're looking forward to letting you come and see that when you come into school later in June.
And you can see the children busy at play in some of the different play spaces there. So we've got children uh, reading stories and we've got some playing with the car garage and the car mats. I'm sure, these are all activities that you enjoy. I wonder what your favourite activity is to do when you're at nursery. And I know that when you come into primary one, you'll, you'll find that activity here as well. If you like building with loose parts or you like painting or you like playing in the sand or you love listening to stories, all of these activities will be there when you come. And we also have some time with the teacher. So in some nurseries, we call it gather time or you might have small group time in your nursery. And that's a time when you will be learning about your letters and your numbers and listening to stories and um, learning a little bit more about some of the themes and interests that you have. And um, so you'll see in one of the pictures, there's the class all gathered together and, or you might be with um, your teacher at the small table, just with a little group doing some learning together. And more building with bricks there and doing lots of little activities where we use our fingers to do quite small work and um, to strengthen our fingers so that we are ready for using our pencils when it's time for writing. And our playground is quite something. We have a huge, amazing space outside to play and there's a lot of different things. So we do have some play equipment that you can climb on and and have little challenges for yourself. We've got a beautiful woodland space where you can do lots of running around and going through tunnels and climbing on wood logs and things. Really lovely place and space for you to play in school. There's a little bit more of it there. So we've, we're really, really lucky that we have lots and lots of outside place to play. And when you come in, to um, visit your teacher, to meet your teacher and to have a little play in the classroom, we will also be having a little play together outside in the playground space too, so that you can have a little explore before you come to school after the summer. And when you're at school, we'll st be staying for lunch, obviously. And I know that lots of you will be doing having lunch at nursery now because most of our nurseries now um, have a lunch time at nursery too, which is great. And so this is what lunch will look like when you are at school. So you'll have a little tray that you take along into the lunch hall and then you, you get your choice of your lunch. And then you take your tray around to the table and sit beside your friends to have lunch together so you can chat and share stories from your morning and you'll get to mix together with the other class because there'll be two classes of you and you'll all sit together when it's lunch time. And then after you finish lunch, you go outside to play in the outdoor play space. So that's lots and lots of things to tell you today, wasn't it? Thank you so much for listening so well. And we are really, really looking forward to meeting you soon. And I will be back next week with another little assembly to give you another little bit more information. And then the next time after that, I'll be letting you meet and see who your teacher is, which will be really exciting. So um, I think I'm going to go back to reading the story. I was at such a good bit. I was just at the bit where he found the worm and he made a little home for it to take home and have all oh, do this bit. Do you remember this bit? And he made him a special, he was so keen to have a pet, made him a special place to stay in his house. 
So I'm going to carry on with my story and I'll catch up with you next week. Thank you for listening. See you soon.